Yo, and welcome to Shooting the Soil. Today, we are checking out Rejuvenate from AEA. And this is a microbial food. So we are feeding the microbes in our soil and not necessarily our plants because the microorganisms can feed our plants a lot better than we can. And then we don't have to worry about all that NPK stuff we can just create a healthy soil, make it regenerative, create nutrient cycling, and the plants will get all the right nutrients in the amounts they want when they want it. That's the idea anyway. All right, so we're waiting things for things to slow down here a little bit, but I'm seeing a lot of stuff wiggling around. We see quite a bit of life in here which I am very surprised to see because, uh, you know, it's not, you're supposed to add this in with your inoculant or this will feed your indigenous microorganisms that are already in your soil, but we're seeing quite a bit of life in here. So it's not only adding food for your microbes, looks like it's actually adding some microbes too. And we're seeing Waiting for things to start s slowing down here. I had to uh, remix um, and dilute more because this stuff is really thick. I threw it on there and you couldn't see anything. Barely any light was getting through just putting one pure drop of the Rejuvenate on the slide. And uh, so we had to <laughs> dilute a whole, whole bunch of water to a few drops. And this is what we're seeing. All right. Hello, Vince. Hello, William. Good to see you guys here. Glad you made it. And yeah, we're seeing a lot of wiggly shapes of bacteria down here. Let's see if I can uh, increase, get a little bit more brightness. And where's our shading at right now? Yeah, we're already shaded pretty good. Get a little bit more focus on them, but yeah, no shortage of life in this. That's a whole lot of wiggly little bacteria down there. Let's see what we see for shapes and sizes. A lot of round ones. We got kind of a pill shaped one there. Yeah, whole lot of life in this re rejuvenate. I wasn't exactly, I wasn't exactly expecting to see this much, because I thought it was mainly a food for the microbes. But evidently, they love it so much that they they are in there in abundance. That is a whole lot of bacteria. Yeah, I think this is the, especially for doing the dilution that I had to do to actually even be able to see through it, it's like thick like molasses. So I had to dilute it quite a bit, quite a bit, so we can even uh, make out stuff in there. But quite interesting. Definitely excited to see how uh, how the plants react. Yeah, one, one thing that I was trying to figure out is is only um, ratios per acre. So I'm like, how do you break down? So if it's one gallon per acre, does anybody know how to break that down into how much you would add of this to like per gallon? I was trying to get some numbers of how many gallons of water it takes to feed an acre. And I was getting, you know, the multiple of thousands from what I was finding in Google. So that would mean uh, per gallon, we would be adding very little for the recommended dose. And seeing how concentrated it is, it is um, <laughs> yeah, that makes... It makes a lot of sense. 
This stuff goes a long way. Did we see something big moving over here? No. That was just the corner of my eye. Alright. So do we see anything else besides bacteria? And a whole bunch of these little these aggregates in here. Yep, that's more bacteria wiggling in the top of the slide. Quite a bit of life. Or bacterial life, anyway. Not seeing anything along the lines of spores, but it's not supposed to be a, uh, you know, definitely not a fungal inoculant of any sorts. It's just supposed to be a food and a microbial booster. But holy cow. For a microbial product, this has a lot of microbes in it. Let's see. Oh. Got one little strand. Seems to be wiggling and moving around. We got some different forms and type of bacteria. Oh, I just noticed an... Well, I thought I just saw an S shape over here. But that could have just been uh, the lens refracting or a couple of them together. I thought it was a little snake-like bacteria. But yeah. Well, one thing's for sure, the they like this food source and they are happy critters down there. So that's a good sign. Wonder if there's anything else that we that might surprise us in here. Be really surprised if we found a nematode or something. Oh, we got a little round something or other right there. Could be a cyst or some type of spore. Can't quite make it out. But here, might as well, since everything's really small. We're at 400x right now. Right. Yeah, have a great weekend, Vince. And uh yeah, let's uh let's drop into six hundred X. Take a little bit closer look at all these bacteria. Alright, here's the hard part where I don't want to bump the six hundred X into the slide because that's very easy to do. Slowly trying to focus. Oh, there we are. Alright. And now we are in at 600x. Let's see. Let's do, yeah, give you a little bit more ISO. And I'll take a short little scan around here. Feel free to ask any questions in the chat or in the comments if you're watching this later. But yeah, there's quite a bit of bacterial life in this. Got a bestseller shape right there. Let's see. Yeah. All sorts of movement. It looks pretty cool. Let's see. I'm gonna head out. Mm -hmm. Catch ya. Have a good one. Alright. Take it a peek around, see if there's anything else interesting we could find to look at here in at 600x. 
but pretty uniform. We're seeing the same thing throughout the whole slide so far. Take a little bit of shading off. Shine a little bit more light through some of those things. You can see a lot of these little round things. Not sure if that's little tiny pieces of minerals or nutrients, but anyway, here's a really good uh, example of a Bacillus bacteria. Little pill shapes wiggling about. Those are always good to see. Yeah, I think it was better with a little bit more shade. Get a little bit more definition. Yeah, right about there. Yeah, uh, this is definitely the most requested thing for me to scope out. So I definitely wanted to check it out for you. And I heard great things, so super excited to see how the plants react. Just watered it on some of them uh, this morning. And actually put a drop on uh, into the water that I soaked some tomatoes and some peppers just for an hour and then put them in the soil. Getting those started. There's a longer shape there. Stupid windows. <laughs> yeah, still more of a bacillus, not quite a spirilla, but. And we're to the edge of the slide. But yeah, there's re rejuvenate for you. Most bacterial life we have seen uh, out of any other product, but just a lot of bacteria. And, uh, yeah, even though it's supposed to be more of a, a food for the biology. So, you know, one thing, if with all this uh, bacteria and the amount of life in here, if these guys don't survive in your soil, they will just be reprocessed and become nutrients for the bacteria and the microorganisms that do thrive and are indigenous to your soil whole circle of life which comes back to feeding and promoting plant health that's what it's all about and that's why we're looking at stuff under the microscope and trying to share our experience so we could all learn together so yeah if you get if you guys would be so kind hit those buttons share the video and support the channel that would be much appreciated but yeah until uh Till the next stream, happy growing, and we'll catch you on the flip side.